For decades, Al Kleinman has been a student of the business of optometry. As a consultant, he's been instrumental in the development of some of North America's most successful optometry practices. Each week, he addresses timely topics to help optometrists build and improve. And now, here's Al with his insights on the business of eye care. I recently learned from a client that four, count them, four practices in a single market have closed in the past year, shuttered. The optometrist owners were unsuccessful selling their practices and just walked away. I've heard this lament in several markets across the country, but why? Why would any optometrist preside over such a decline in their practice that their only choice is to simply close the doors? Frankly, it makes me sad because it happens and is happening with higher frequency, but also because there are alternatives. In his recent book, The Descent is the Real Climb, author Jeff Getty sends a powerful message that half the battle of being a business owner is in turning your asset into cash. You've fought hard to achieve your success, to climb to your top. And as Mr. Getty describes, what got you to where you are won't likely get you to where you want to go. As he states, more people die on the way down from Mount Everest than on the way up. It takes a different set of skills and a different mindset to successfully navigate the descent in mountain climbing and private practice optometry. It pains me to hear of practitioners who aren't successful with their exit. As transaction experts, having worked on many hundreds of practice succession plans over the past four decades, we know that there's always a way, always. But it takes a unique mindset and skill set to identify a transition path and close a deal. And doing so is difficult to achieve independently. The first adjustment in thinking is that you can bring about a successful transition on your own. Yes, you're smart. Yes, you can learn. But do you really want to experiment with what may be your most valuable asset? Do you really think you can learn all that you need to know to divest of that to which you're tied both economically and emotionally? Do you even have the time to devote to the process, which can take many months or even years? In so many respects, your emotional tie is precisely that which will almost guarantee that you'll miss an opportunity, or worse. As an entrepreneur myself, the founder of over two dozen businesses, I learned a long time ago that I shouldn't do my own deals. The most successful entrepreneurs don't go it alone. They surround themselves with experts who have been where they want to go. Do it yourselfers beware. You're about to make a bunch of mistakes that can be avoided and may cost you dearly. The second observation is that there's more than one way. Indeed, there are many ways to achieve your goal of realizing value for your enterprise and leaving your legacy in someone else's able hands. But to understand what's possible, you first must have the experience. While the author may disagree, you can't learn the art of the deal from a book. You must be in the game. The third observation is that you simply must have time on your side. There are two reasons. First, you need the runway necessary to recover from mistakes. We had one client who went through two associates who said they wanted ownership with documented succession plans only to have them leave after a year or so for a variety of reasons. It was only on the third try that we were successful. Secondly, but equally as important, you need the time to properly stage the business, to clean up challenges and maximize profitability. To do otherwise is to leave a lot of money on the table. Lastly, do you have someone on your side who has the experience to look at your project unemotionally and creatively? to manage the details. Take, for instance, the optometrist whose $300,000 practice wasn't attractive to a buyer. At 60, he wanted to sell, but still wanted to see patients two days a week. He was psychologically ready for someone to run the show, but no one was stepping up to the plate. The reason is rather simple. The cash flow in such a practice is too thin to support his two days a week, put food on the new owner's table, and pay off the purchase price. The economics simply don't work. But there is a solution. We call it exit by merger. In this scenario, the selling doc moves the, his practice inside of another, a host. 
He continues to see patients and earn what he earned before. He liquidates his equipment and inventory and collects his accounts receivable. And when he's ready to hang up his Feropter, possibly years down the road, he sells his patient records for a previously established formula. Along the way, he's turned his asset into cash. It's the proverbial win-win. On the flip side, we once worked with a client whose multi-location practice was ready for transition. During the valuation process, we uncovered some changes that we felt would make a big difference in value. We had the time to implement the actions, delaying the offering for a year. In the end, the client realized well over a million dollars more from their enterprise by waiting and staging. Whether you have a small practice or a huge multi-location enterprise, managing your descent to a liquidation event is not for the meek. It takes time, resources, and connections. At Kleinman Performance Partners, we have a unique set of skills and experiences that deliver results. We're not classic brokers who sign you up for a listing and disappear. We handle the entire transaction from valuation through to closing and beyond. And we've been doing so for over three decades. Whether you hope to sell to friends, family, or private equity, you need an experienced guide who can help you through the ins and outs of this massive undertaking. We're happy to share ideas with you in a no obligation exploration, but don't wait. The clock is ticking. Give us a call today. We hope you enjoyed Al's message. And if so, please hit that like button. At Kleinman Performance Partners, our team is dedicated to transforming lives through recognized and realized possibilities. We have resources in nearly every aspect of the business of optometry and the experience to help you get where you want to go faster and easier. If you'd like to explore your possibilities or challenges, contact us today at Kleinman.com. We're here to help. For more great videos that educate while they entertain, please subscribe to the Kleinman Performance Partners YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.